The following is a presentation of the United Wrestling Network. everyone to championship wrestling from hollywood todd kennelly jack farmer and blake bulletproof troop this is going to be a bit of a tough one guys one of the most beloved factions and groups in the history of championship wrestling from hollywood was no doubt the friendship farm gentleman jervis sweet robin shaw and then darwin finch the punk rock poindexter came into the mix and things just started to unravel yeah, I've got a bone to pick with Robin Shaw. This was one of the best groups in the United Wrestling Network. What did he do? He ruined it. Gentleman Jervis got Shaw opportunities live on pay-per-view at Primetime Live. They wrestled for the tag team titles. We're going to kick things off with Sweet Robin Shaw taking on Richie Slade one-on-one. -on -one. And this is where things started to turn. Yeah, man, Robin Shaw was a guy you could always count on to turn your frown upside down and... Man, he has turned the whole United Wrestling Network upside down with this, this switch that he's done on us. And we'll see it. You know, Shaw used to be a hugger, and then that hug turned into a belly-to-belly -belly suplex. And we're going to see a downtrodden gentleman, Jervis, which is just the saddest sight that there is. The world's sweetest man. You love to see that. How do you do? And the excitement and, and a little of this. And we're going to see them try to reel Robin Shaw back in, and obviously it did not work out. Showing just how good of a guy Gentleman Jervis is. He's trying to maintain his friendship, trying to be the good guy, but Robin Shaw had none of it. And then from there, we're going to see the confrontation. It had to happen. The roads would have to meet, and Jervis would have to face sweet Robin Shaw inside the squared circle. We're going to relive the explosion of the Friendship Farm here, guys. The Friendship Farm enduring one heck of a drought. Let's head to the action. And I know this makes you sick to your stomach, Blake. Bulletproof Troop, the new Heritage Champion, Richie Slade, along with Flex McCallion. Certainly don't think it would have been that way without that maniac Jack Banning. Yeah, that belt still belongs on Jordan Clearwater's waist. I'm not oh, Richie you. Slade, oh, not Flex McCallion. Allow me to be the first to congratulate you, Richie Slade. You are the new Hollywood Heritage Champion. Yeah! You're right. You're right about that. But you, you know what? Let's add a little tagline to that. Succulent Heritage Champion. Because I'm the best looking guy that's yes. ever graced this planet. Because yeah, if there was a contest in wrestling on the most handsome man that's ever held this championship, Well, that's a matter of, uh, th that's an objective opinion, but you join the, the ranks, the likes of uh, at the Scrap Iron, Adam Pierce, of uh, TJ Perkins, uh, uh, Peter Avalon, the list goes on and on and on. And they don't stand the chance. They're not even in my league. Not Do you understand league. that? I'm on a different level here. Different level! Different. Beef! Candy! Beef! Candy! Beef! Candy. That level. The new Hollywood Heritage Champion, Richie Slade, and uh, I think you're going to be in action to kick this week's show off. Cheers! Drink to that! No, 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 no thank Come you. On. No, thank you. I, I'm not sharing your drink. Boo. Candy! Boo. Candy! Boo. Candy! Do you got it? Got it. Do it! Here we hear from the new Hollywood Heritage Champion. Candy. Supposedly the self-proclaimed ha most handsome man to ever hold that title. Is there an echo in here? I don't think it was, you know, a beauty contest. No! And now Slade will, in fact, see action as the champion as we kick things off here on Championship Wrestling. Man, insult to injury. The best! The best! And here we see the Friendship Farm. You got Gentleman Jervis. You got Darwin Finch. And they flank the big man, Sweet Robin Shaw. 
I mean, we were talking about how Richie Slade maybe doesn't deserve that Heritage Championship. But Robin Shaw, he could earn it right here. He could. I mean, Sweet Robin Shaw perhaps has not gotten the cotton candy trees uh, genetically created by Darwin Finch that he wanted, but I, I think he would uh, take the Heritage title instead and be quite happy. No doubt about it. Take a little slice of beef candy on your way out the door. New Hollywood Heritage Champion, we hope. I'm sure that shiny belt would look good around that shiny belly of Sweet Robin Shaw. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, and it is for the Hollywood Heritage Championship. Introducing first, the challenger. Being accompanied to the ring by Gentleman Jervis and Darwin Finch from Agua Dulce, California, weighing in at 350 pounds, Sweet Robin Shaw! Oh, that's sour, that's sour Robin that's Shaw. That's sour Robin Shaw. Let's go on hey, still. Still. And introducing his opponent. Turn out. I got this. Introducing his opponent, the new Heritage Hollywood champion. He hails from Gaines Pasture and weighs in at four and a half slabs of pure beef. He is the all day Richie Slade. Enjoy it. It's good. All right, stage is set by Adnan Qureshi and Flex McCallion. Handling half of the ring announcing duties. Do, do you think that Flex feels like he's part Heritage Champion? Because that's the vibe I'm getting. Oh, well, I mean, I know you haven't been around for, for a whole lot of time here, but back, that was certainly the way it was back when Pac-3 were the tag team champions. Let's go, bring that belt! Always uh, feels that he's more involved than he is, but I'll tell you who was really involved in the title changing hands was Jack Banning. And, uh, you know, that, that uh, guillotine choke. And, and I got to ask you, Blake, ha have you had a chance to check in with Jordan Clearwater? Is he okay? He was caught in that choke for a long, long time. And it would have been even worse if it wasn't for you. He's been taken to the hospital. I haven't had a chance to catch up with him because we've been busy here continuing to work. But I'm going to check on him as soon as we're done with the program. I mean, I shudder to think what, uh, what would have happened had you not intervened. I, I don't think... Uh, any number of officials were going to get Jack Banning off of Jordan Clearwater, but let's switch gears here. We do have the Heritage title on the line. Sweet Robin Shaw looking for the sweet victory in the opening seconds, and Flex Cullen for the timeout. Yeah, I like that. Sweet Robin Shaw immediately looking for the finish right at the beginning of the match. Now throwing candy. Heritage title on the line. Well, Sweet Robin's all about that. We'll be back right after this. At Car Shield, we're always looking for the brightest talent. Thank you for calling Car Shield. How may I help you? This style and profile and limousine ride, wheel and deal and son of a gun is here to tell you that Car Shield administrators make sure you don't have to pay for expensive auto repairs. Woo! We want our employees to be themselves. Woo! We encourage teamwork. And woo! Where's my yogurt? Woo! How'd that taste? But at the end of the day, it's all about the customer. Car Shield's doing it better than anybody else alive. They're the money saving, roadside assisting, tow truck getting, rental car providing, son of a guns protecting you from expensive car breakdowns. And one more thing Car Shield cars go farther. Woo! Call 800 952 1286. Why decide between a walk-in tub or shower when you could have both? Call now and we'll upgrade your new SafeStep walk-in tub purchase with our exclusive free shower package. Once you turn 60, you have to realize there are limitations whether you want to admit it or not. My walk-in tub has helped me to continue to enjoy a much better quality of life. Call 800-905-7492. That's 800-905-7492. 800-905-7492. Call now. Hello, I'm Mike Lindell, inventor of MyPillow. Thanks to your support, you've helped make MyPillow become one of the fastest growing companies in America. I'm asleep almost immediately. I stay asleep at night and I wake up more well rested in the morning. For a limited time, you can get premium MyPillows for the lowest price ever. 
regularly $69.98, now only $29.98 with your promo code. That's a $40 savings. My patented fill adjusts to your exact individual needs and helps keep your neck supported and aligned. Not only that, I do all my own manufacturing in my home state of Minnesota. I personally guarantee that my pillow will be the most comfortable pillow you'll ever own. For a limited time, you can get a premium my pillow for the lowest price ever. Regularly $69.98, now only $29.98. That's a $40 savings with your promo code. Sleep well, America! For the best night's sleep in the whole wide world, visit mypillow.com. Welcome back, everybody. Heritage title on the line and stalling tactics throughout the break by the champion, so-called, Richie Slade. Yeah, Richie Slade realizes that one of his big advantages in Flex Callen is somewhat nullified because Sweet Ramen Shaw's got a couple of his friends out here, too. That's a great point. The friendship farm nullifying that numbers game advantage that Beef Candy usually has. And we have seen, and we, we saw it against Clearwater as well. It was a very competitive matchup and until it got very controversial. I'll tell you, uh, Slade's got a lot of snap on that right hand, but now runs into a big wall. Can't sell Slade short at all in terms of the competitor he is. You know, like, like you said, he was going move for move with Jordan, although he did get touched by Midas. Could, should have been all before Jack Banning getting involved. But Richie Slade, though, yeah, he can give as good as he gets. A big thing that we say in fighting is styles make fights. And although Richie Slade did pretty well against Jordan Clearwater, Robin Shaw is a much, much bigger man. And I think Richie Slade is going to struggle with that size differential. There's a huge size and weight discrepancy. You're right. But trying to overcome that with striking right now, another just razor sharp right hand. There by Richie Slade, reversal. There's that body weight that came to the aid of the big man. Too slow though, and gets countered with the boot. We've seen Richie get reversed several times trying to throw Robin Shaw around. He needs to keep this a striking battle. The more he grapples with the bigger man, the more the bigger man's gonna be able to use his weight. Just like that right there. Oh, look at this springboard, but gets caught like a baby. Maybe gonna get put down for a three second knot. Now, oh, he's a hugger, all right. He's a hugger, a bear hug. He can turn out your lights with this. Big time oh, bear ball. look at Flex. Oh, we see Jervis. That's what I was talking about, where the friendship <laughs> farm might be nullifying. Gonna wrap him with that cane, and now belly to belly suplex. If he can cover, and he does, history might be made here. Man, if he couldn't get to that rope there, I don't know how he would have gotten out from that pin. Robin Shaw is a big boy, using all his weight. Just what a great opportunity for Robin Shaw, too. Looking to make the most of it here. Could be New Heritage champion as he is throwing Slade around the ring. Avalanche clothesline. And down goes the champion in a heap. Looking like a chewed up milk dud right now is Richie Slade. He's in big time trouble and looming large. Extremely large is Sweet Robin Shaw. Yeah, Robin Shaw should keep Slade on the ground here. Try and get on top of him and continue to do more damage. You know, it wasn't that long ago that Gentleman Jervis said that gold will eventually come to the Friendship Farm. This is our time. And the heavy hitter of the group has the opportunity. Scoop in a slam. What's he looking for here? Big leg drop on the way. No. And that has cost him trouble in the pass play with the knee when he misses that. Yeah, he needs to do a slightly better job of really making sure the guy's hurt enough though. No. Pin attempt by Slade. But I'd like to see Ramachan make sure his opponent is more hurt before he goes to those big dropping attacks. And one of the biggest challenges for Slade in this matchup, James, was to get the big man off his feet. And Sweet Robin Shaw did the work for the champion, yeah, Richie Slade. That's very well said. And now what Richie Slade has to do is keep Robin Shaw there. Slade has every intention. Well, oh, and now just grinding that elbow into the into the eyes and the bridge of the nose of Robin Shaw. Something very smart that Richie, Richie Slade's done. I saw him do to Jordan Clearwater. Now Robin Shaw is get behind them and work from behind while their weapons are facing away. It's a much safer place for him to, to use his offense. Great point, yeah, you know, from that body position, and there's gonna be no sweet victory. There wasn't gonna be a bear hug again. And now blatant choke. And if he can get the gas out of the big man, and it looks like that's happening. It looks like Shaw's starting to fade here. Yeah, if Richie Slade can keep up the speed and agility right now, he can absolutely start running away with this matchup. 
a stiff shot from Flex. Blatant cheating. Referee didn't see it. He was distracted with the friendship farm. I, I think he's totally exhausted here in Shaw. And now into the cover for him on the face. Again, guys, Sweet Robin Shaw, just as this match goes into deeper water, he's built for a sprint, not a marathon. And the big guy is huffing and puffing right now. Yeah, the longer this goes, the more it swings in the favor of Richie Slade just dropping those knees, punishing the big man. Now cover. Arms went limp. And the hand was coming down for three, but Sweet Robin staying alive in there. You got to love his heart. Yeah, although Richie Slade's a lot smaller, if he can continue to keep his weight on Robin Shaw and ride him out, he's going to continue to exhaust what's left in Robin Shaw's gas tank. Now, now trying to go high risk. He's got the big man down. We're where the champion can measure him. Sweet Robin's got no idea this is coming. But this is what cost, uh, almost cost, uh, Richie Slade in the match, but he gets there this time. High cross body, and another close call. Boy, oh boy, Sweet Robin Shaw finding a way to hold on. Yeah, Richie Slade's getting closer and closer on these pin attempts. That was very, very close to a three count. I don't know if the Friendship Farm's gonna cultivate title victory here, but Shaw certainly doing everything he can and then some. Yeah, you can see Shaw's so exhausted now that he's, whoa. How about that agility? Where, where in the world did that come from, guys? Deceptively uh, that agile. Would, that must have been cooked up in the lab by, by Darwin Finch or something, some sort of agility potion for Sweet Robin Shaw. I mean, maybe credit the Friendship Farm on the outside. They're banging on the apron. They're trying to will their guy onto what? championship gold. What a suplex. Saito suplex nicely done, and the big guy catching his second wind. Yeah. Oh, he's calling for that leg drop again, it looks like. Sweet victory! Calling for sweet, sweet victory. victory. Might look for that big spin kick when he hits it. It's oh, usually now look out. at Flex, though, again. Come on. Uh, trying to blame the friendship for him? Oh, come on. I, you know, no, 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 no. Can't imagine that. Oh, inside now. Gravity takes over. Gravity takes over. And Slade God. retains. Here is your winner and still Hollywood Heritage Champion, Richie Slade. And let's take a look at the action here in the finish. A lot of moving parts. Flex grabbing the leg there of Sweet Robin Shaw. Shaw didn't actually see it. Turned around and Flex blaming the Friendship Farm, saying it was him, it was him. Robbery and just thievery. It's got to be heartbreaking here, Blake, for Sweet Robin Shaw. You know, he doesn't know what to think. He's wondering, did my friends just, just screw me over? Like... Now back up to his feet, man. He gave it one heck of a of a shot, and here we see the Tremendous hug effort. here on on Darwin Finch. Uh, I mean, close call. And now and now, gentlemen, Jervis again. The hug for Sweet Robin Shaw. What a close call! Came so I, close to winning championship gold there. I mean, I for love the friendship the farm. Oh no! no. What, what the hell? Oh my God! What the hell, Sweet Robin? No, the Billy to Billy suplex. What are you doing? Oh, and then now Darwin Finch, the scientist. The scientist got him by the throat. Oh my God! Look at look at the intensity on the eyes of Sweet Robin here, guys. I, I don't know if he bought what Flex was selling or if Robin Shaw just snapped here, taking it to both. I, I can't believe that he would buy into that. Oh my God! He looks incensed. Oh man! This, this, look, the light the, the light's on, but nobody's home here. Blake Troop. I mean, he he looks absolutely incensed here. A whole different demeanor for yeah. Sweet Robin Shaw. We we see. The Friendship Farm completely dismantled before our very eyes. We gotta go to break. Uh, unbelievable. What else is gonna happen around here? This is an advertisement for legal services. Important news for farm workers and others exposed to the weed killer Paraquat and who were later diagnosed with Parkinson's disease or told by a doctor they might have Parkinson's disease. If you or a loved one worked around the weed killer Paraquat and were then diagnosed with Parkinson's disease, call the law offices of Davis and Crump right now at the number below to see if you are eligible for a cash award and medical expenses. Call Davis and Crump right now. Operators are standing by. Are you over the age of 50 and considering buying an annuity in the next 60 days? I have some important news for you. Don't buy an annuity until you understand the pros and cons of annuities. Call now for this free book on maximizing your income in retirement. Annuity Do's and Don'ts for Baby Boomers from leading financial firm J.D. Melberg. That's right, free. This book reveals little-known truths about annuities in simple-to-understand terms. Grab a pen right now. 
because we're about to offer you this free book that unlocks the five little-known truths we believe baby boomers and seniors should know before buying an annuity, and it's free. Call 800-604-1098. As a bonus, we'll also throw in a free annuity rate report. We researched numerous products and summarized rates and benefits of annuities, all from Silac Insurance Company. Call 800-604-1098. That's 800-604-1098. Call now. Hey, everyone. I'm Emily May here, Championship Wrestling with Gentleman Jervis. So you're getting ready for a match with Keita Murray. But how are you feeling going into it without Sweet Robin Shaw and everything going on with the Friendship Farm? It's nice to see you, Miss Emily May. And um, Keita Murray, I want you to know that I think you're a great up-and-coming wrestler, and I'm going to give you my all. I think you deserve nothing more than my focus and respect. But with that being said, my heart is somewhere else. You see, I have a problem leaving behind bad relationships. I just want everyone to love me. But that's not always possible. Sweet Robin, I know you're a good person. I know there's someone sweet in there. So I ask you, next week, meet me in the center of the ring, and I'll give it one more shot for us to make up, shake hands, and exchange hugs. Otherwise, I'm going to have to leave you behind. The following contest is a singles match scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, from Scranton, Pennsylvania, weighing in at 187 pounds, Keita Murray! Back for more action here on Championship Wrestling. What a phenomenal young athlete this Keita Murray is. Yeah, no doubt about it. And he's really embracing and leaning into his name, Keita, which he, of course, has told us is an African king. He's looking to be the king in that wrestling ring. Been really looking into his genealogy, history of his bloodline, and just incredibly talented performer in that ring. We've seen him here on Championship Wrestling and on Primetime Live. He's got a big challenge here. And introducing his opponent, being come to the ring by Darwin Fitch from sunny Southern California, weighing in at 3,000 butterflies, gentlemen, Jervis. Couple things I'm happy to see here, James Kincaid. A, Darwin Finch able to move under his own power after getting absolutely waylaid by Sweet Robin Shaw last week. And the return of a bit of razzmatazz here in Gentleman Jervis. He was so downtrodden last week. Of course, we heard him say he wants to meet Sweet Robin Shaw next week and hopefully bury the hatchet. Yeah, hopefully to bury the hatchet. Maybe, maybe they can rebuild that bridge of friendship, but you're right. It, it, it is great to see Jervis, you know, just having that bounce in his step, that spring in his step again. Looked like he might have been gone for good. Yeah, I mean, he came out on the ramp last week for, for Darwin Finch's match. Well, swing and a miss there. Oh, he can't win them all. Well, I don't know if those goggles are prescription. But Keita Murray had his back turn moment too. Keita Murray just so serious look at this just laser ice, focus ice water running through his veins and before that wasn't the case a change in demeanor you know he was once known as all that keita murray he was very fun loving high high octane high energy and uh, now just just really turning serious in terms of his competition yeah keita has replaced the orange soda he used to bring into his matches with just a steely gaze and a lot of aggression Oh, pulling him in there, taking advantage of the sportsmanship. Look at the look in Keita's eyes. Oh, nice job, though, by Jervis to change levels and come up with a takedown. Thought he was going to do so again with the hip toss. Nice balance by Keita Murray. Talked about the athleticism of this great competitor. He's really packed on some size and strength as well, and he's got really amazing agility. Yeah, he, he looks to be in phenomenal shape. Always is, but maybe the best that we've seen yet in Keita Murray. And perception is everything. You know, if, if Keita studied that genealogy and sees himself in a, as a king, you know, and in a, that bloodline, he just, he just, you know, carries himself with more confidence. Although getting beat down right now by Jervis in those open hound shots. Yeah, you know, Jervis likes to be all about the fun, but he has he, all the necessary skills in that ring 
for victory. Sure does. Gentleman Jervis, a former United Tag Team title holder, back when he teamed with the Hobo. And up and over there, but not so fast. Catching Gentleman Jervis there was Keita Murray. Here we see the power on display and deposits the gentleman, not a gentlemanly move there, deposits him on that top rope. No, now Jervis in a, in a bad spot. The breathing could become an issue after a move, maneuver like that. Keita looking to capitalize, but Jervis not having it. What a spine buster. World's friendliest man, nothing friendly about that. He absolutely spiked Keita Murray with that spine buster. You can see the effects, you know, just in agony was Keita, but turning it around, the jawbreaker, the up kick, I believe he calls that combination the money clip, and he'll be making some money if he scores a big victory here over a perennial favorite in Gentleman Jervis. Now Keita Murray sizing him up on that second rope. Again, the focus, but Jervis had it scouted. Nobody home for Keita Murray. That's got to hurt. It's going to take a toll on the tailbone, that's for sure, and Gentleman Jervis picks up the pace. We talked about the agility of Murray looking as quick as ever. Is Gentleman Jervis looking for that bunny hop stomp? Nobody home. Goes for it once, goes for it twice, sweeping the leg. Yeah, J Jervis coming up empty handed on that bunny hop twice there. Akita looking to regain control of this matchup. What's he got to do? He looks like checking that knee there. That hesitation going to cost Kita. Jervis has got him. Oh, he's looking for that rockabye. Slam oh. and going right to the eyes is Keita Murray. That's the thing with Jervis. He's been such a favorite here. He's got a lot of film you can study. And Keita was wise to it, but turning around is Jervis. Nice back elbow as Keita Murray strung up on the ropes. And another one for good measure. And yeah, Jervis in full control right now. There's that bunny hop. That time he hit all of it. Not going to get chased out of Farmer McGregor's garden without getting the victory. Here is your winner, gentlemen, Jervis. Great to see Jervis picking up a win. Absolutely, Darwin Finch there to celebrate with gentlemen Jervis who looks back, he's back in his winning ways. He's got that razzmatazz, but how will the meeting go with Robin Shaw next week if Shaw shows up? We'll be back with more. Experience the best action in LA at the Commerce Casino and Hotel. Discover why the Commerce is the most celebrated card room in the world. Commerce Casino. I'm here with Car Shield World Champion Rick. Woo! Car Shield's America's favorite money saving, roadside assistant, tow truck calling, rental car getting, and teamed up with your truly. Woo! Attention. If you've had a hernia surgery after 2006 and suffered from serious side effects such as infection, chronic pain, organ damage, mesh shrinkage, or mesh migration, you could be eligible for financial compensation. Call the law offices of Wright & Schulte right now at the number on your screen or visit meshjustice.com now. Ethicon, a subsidiary of Johnson & Johnson, has withdrawn its Physio Mesh Flexible Composite Mesh from the market. Again, if you've had complications from your hernia surgery after 2006, you could be eligible for financial compensation. We can find out what type of devices were used in your surgery. Call the law offices of Wright & Schulte immediately at the number on your screen or visit MeshJustice.com now. You deserve justice and the call is free. And there is no fee unless we win your case. Call now for your free case evaluation. Again, call the law offices of Wright & Schulte immediately at the number on your screen or visit MeshJustice.com now. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Darwin Fitch and Gentleman Jervis, The Friendship Farm. Well, we saw a return to form for Gentleman Jervis, an in-ring action. He got that razzmatazz back, but not looking so sure of this is Darwin Finch here. You know, we saw a return to form for Jervis, but are we going to see a return of the Friendship Farm as they have asked Sweet Robin to meet him here in the ring on Championship Wrestling? And, you know, TK, I'm an eternal optimist. Friends fight, that happens. But after what Robin Shaw has done, it's hard to believe that Friendship Farm is going to be able to make itself whole again. Reigns to be seen. Certainly uh, a bit of uneasiness here. 
in both Finch and, and Gentleman Jervis for that matter. A lot riding on this. Good evening, everyone. I'm the world's sweetest man, Gentleman Jervis. And last week, I asked my partner, our friend, Sweet Robin Shaw, to come to the ring to talk out our differences and to make up with us, with me, and to be our friend. So Sweet Robin Shaw, I will waste no time. Please, come to the ring and join us. Begs the question, if, if Shaw's even gonna show up here. This is music. Well, there you have it. Sweet Robin answering the call. Again, that new look, new attitude. I guess that is step one, though. He's here. He's going to talk it out. Well, and we, we saw him, in essence, just decimate Finch in in-ring action. Finally find out what's been on his mind, hopefully. Certainly he's had a, a huge chip on his shoulder. Now, sweet Robin, I know you're upset. The way that well, things have gone down between us, it's not the way I would have liked. And I know there's a lot of anger in you. There's a lot of rage in there. But if you channel that rage, and if you put it in a positive direction, you could be one of the best of all time. But sweet Robin, you're letting your temper get the better of you. I know things haven't been easy. We haven't won many matches, but we tried. We tried our hardest. And trying counts for something, right, Darwin? Now, I'm sorry that maybe I haven't been an exemplary tag team partner, but sweet Robin, you're irreplaceable. You're special. You're one of a kind. You're one of us. One of you. You're right, I am irreplaceable. Because quite frankly, you replaced me with him. You tried to replace Super Beetle with me. And then when Beetle left, I, I was stuck with you again. Beetle was better than you. I'm better than you. I am not replaceable, Jervis. I am sweet Robin Shaw, and I am everything that you're not. You think you're the world's sweetest man. I am the world's sweetest man. Well, sweet Robin, if you are as sweet as you say, please shake my hand. Be my friend again. No. Oh, no. Oh. Come on. Huh, just, not again. I understand. You know, if you want to go your separate ways, there's a, there's a way to do it. Now just smashing Finch, smashing Gentleman Jervis. Squashing what is left of the friendship farm. Robin Shaw, nothing sweet about that. Shaw now here, having his way. Say, you're the, you say there's the sweetest man, I'm the sweetest man. I'm better than you. And now, no, he called for it there, James. Calling, calling for the sweet victory, and there oh, it is. God, connecting right on that skull. Sweet victory, more like bitter betrayal, if you ask me. You're right about that, TK, and just look at him. What's going on with Robin? I think, I think Robin now sees, sees what he's done here. I mean... You know, I mean, uh, Jervis was a huge boost for his career. He might have seriously injured him here. I, I think maybe it, it's almost Jervis, like he snapped snapped out of it. Yeah, Jervis hasn't moved. I, I think maybe, maybe the, the Robin Shaw that we knew and loved is is back here trying to help Jervis to his feet. You know, and friends fight. You know, one with that, they need each other. The, the friendship farm. They, they they really do. Maybe maybe this has gotten him back. 
Sandy, sorry. I mean, maybe seeing the error of his ways here. No, 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 no. He's got him by the neck again. Now sending Jervis to the outside. Come on. Just sucking. You know, he's the, he's the world's sweetest man. We, he, he deserves better than that. You don't sucker him like that. Robin Unbelievable. Sh Robin Shaw, just oh, no. a con artist. What's he got in store here? Look Standing. at the demented eyes of Shaw. He got what he wants. He's standing over a fallen gentleman, Jervis. Okay, yeah, sure. You're, you're the better man. Fine. What? What does he have? It's, it's Robin Shaw maybe with some no, demented no, no, intentions. No. What, what the hell is he going to do here? Don't do it. No. Completely squashed Jervis. God, to th the dreams of reconciliation and Jervis's chest crushed. The history between these two and now Jervis just might be written off his history. My God, why? He's, 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 not, get him, he's not moving, James. He's not moving at all. Compl he's lifeless out there. And you said it. Demented Robin Shaw. Look at his face. We need some help for Jervis. God, God. I mean, seriously, get some help out. Somebody's got to call the ambulance. This is serious. Why decide between a walk-in tub or shower when you could have both? Call now and we'll upgrade your new Safe Step walk-in tub purchase with our exclusive free shower package. Once you turn 60, you have to realize there are limitations whether you want to admit it or not. My walk-in tub has helped me to continue to enjoy a much better quality of life. Call 800-905-7492. That's 800-905-7492. 800-905-7492. Call now. This is a paid advertisement for legal services. Attention landscapers and farmers. Have you or a loved one been diagnosed with Parkinson's disease or another condition after exposure to Paraquat or another herbicide containing Paraquat? If so, you may be entitled to significant compensation. The herbicide Paraquat has been linked to increased risk of Parkinson's disease and other conditions. If you or a loved one has been diagnosed with Parkinson's after exposure to a herbicide containing Paraquat, including Paraquat, Gramaxone, Helmquat, or Devor, call the number on your screen or visit pqhurt.com immediately. Landscapers, farmers, or anyone working with Paraquat may be at a higher risk due to increased exposure. Again, if you or a loved one has been diagnosed with Parkinson's after exposure to Paraquat, call Wright and Schulte at the number on your screen or visit pqhurt.com now for a free consultation. The following contest is a singles match scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, being accompanied to the ring by Darwin Finch, Gentleman Jervis. More action here at Halston Bodies Coastline Clash. Robin Shaw issued the challenge, but the question is from the looks of things, is Gentleman Jervis up to the challenge? I mean, you asked that when, when Shaw laid it down and it doesn't look like that. And he just waved off. Darwin Finch says he wants to go it alone. Not a, not a smart move in Port Jervis. I mean, it was heartbreaking to see just what sweet Robin Shaw has done to the Friendship Farm, and in particular, Gentleman Jervis. Absolutely squashed him with that big seated splash off the apron. I mean, we didn't know if we'd ever see Gentleman Jervis back. There's definitely a lot of residual damage on Jervis right now. You can tell by the way that he's holding his ribs. He is already in pain and hurt, getting into the ring before the match has even started. Seems nearly devoid of razzmatazz. And introducing his opponent from Agua Dulce, California, weighing in 350 pounds, Sweet Robin Shaw. Robin Shaw looks, almost nods as if he's impressed that Jervis even showed up here. And uh, Robin Shaw seems to look back at his time, gentlemen, in the friendship farm with nothing but total disdain. Total disdain, and I, I think Robin Shaw looks, looks proud of himself, his handiwork, seeing Jervis still holding his midsection. But maybe he is a little bit surprised that Jervis would even meet his challenge. You know, you gotta keep in mind, one of the worst beatings I've ever seen Robin Shaw was at the take, was at the hands of Chris Dickinson in Primetime Live, and that had to do with the gimmicks in the Friendship Farm. So maybe that's where some of his resentment for the Friendship Farm and gimmicky things have come from. Maybe so, but still, you know, his time in the friendship. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on a second. Jervis, I'm sorry, man. I know that you feel like you need to face Robin, and I respect that, but I, I feel like I'd be doing you a disrespect 
if I let you come in here at not even 50%, let's be honest. And you know he's just going to take advantage of that. Because, Robin, you have no respect. This man, this great man right here, he took guys like you and me, and he brought us to championship wrestling. And the minute that you couldn't share the spotlight for two seconds, you showed your true colors. So you know what, you, you wanna hurt this man so much, you really want Jervis, then you're gonna have to go through me to do it. Wow. Punk Rock Poindexter, Darwin Finch, putting himself in between gentleman Jervis and this raging bull in Sweet Robin Shaw. Shaw showing no hesitation in, a, in agreeing with that too. Boy, where that was a, a whole different sound to Gentleman Jervis. Where did he where did he summon that from? I, I don't know if, if that's the aftermath of what Robin Shaw did to him, or if it's it's the rage and the heartbreak that Robin Shaw has caused. It's definitely the most bass that I've ever heard in Jervis's voice. We're bringing bringing some anger out of the happiest man I think I've ever seen. You know, the world's sweetest man has got uh, some of the world's most injured ribs right now, though. Just. Bone rattling body shots here by the big man and doubling over in pain in the early going was Jervis, but using his speed and agility comes up with the drop kick, but that was a sacrifice play. Just hitting the mat after throwing the drop kick, you know, residual damage. Oh my gosh, he's gonna, do and even Finch said, he's not even at 50%, he's gonna be at way less oh, than get, that. Get out of there, Jervis. A sit and duck for that big leg drop. And again, that splash off the apron just put Jervis on the shelf. You know, it's been an emotional uh, attack and, and a very physical attack by Robin Shaw. I have a lot of respect for Darwin Finch trying to step up and give his friend a hand. I would have liked to have maybe seen him get in early, but now we're gonna get to see what Darwin Finch is gonna bring to the table. Yeah, here's his chance. And uh, and, and saying, you know, it, it, it was Jervis and the association with the Friendship Farm, James, that gave guys like Finch and Robin Shaw a platform, put them on pay-per-view. On, on primetime live, put them in tag team title opportunities in the United Wrestling Network. And as Finch said, is you know for one second you couldn't stand the spotlight not being on you, Robin Shaw, and you turned your back, you showed your true colors, and you know I think Darwin Finch showing true friendship coming out here to the aid of Gentleman Jervis, but I don't think this is the smart play trying to test strength with not so sweet Robin Shaw, Darwin Finch. Paying for it. Definitely not the smart play. We saw them tie up early. Robin Shaw just chucked Darwin Finch to the side. The second time we saw Darwin go behind him, I don't know why he would try and head on combat Robin Shaw, but we see him using some technique here to get the leverage in his favor. How uh, would you say he's using scientific wrestling? You uh -huh. could definitely say that. I mean, leverage and fulcrums and so forth, it is a little bit of physics. Well, physics is that big man Robin Shaw, but Darwin Finch looking to defy the odds. Yeah, I'll tell you what, uh, when it comes to Shaw, every action has an equal and opposite reaction, and when he hits you, you'll go down. But right now, being very elusive is Darwin Finch, and he, he looks like he took the use of the arms away momentarily of the big man. Double teaming now by the Friendship Farm. And I think that that strike where he landed on the neck where maybe it took a little bit of ability for Robin Shaw to take it, use his arms, it goes into the anatomy. Whoa, big team strikes here by Darwin Finch and Jervis. Friendship Farm were lighting up Robin Shaw, but then the proverbial meeting of the minds of that the Friendship Farm. That train is off the track. The big man causing damage now. This match continues after this. Experience the best action in LA at the Commerce Casino and Hotel. Come discover why the Commerce is the most celebrated card room in the world. Commerce Casino. Hello, I'm Mike Vindell, inventor of MyPillow. Thanks to your support, you've helped make MyPillow become one of the fastest growing companies in America. My patented fill adjusts to your exact individual needs and helps keep your neck supported and aligned. For a limited time, you can get a premium MyPillow for the lowest price ever. Regularly $69.98, now only $29.98. 
for the best night's sleep in the whole wide world, visit MyPillow.com. Here's an important message from the Diabetes Solution Center. Diabetics understand all too well the pain of pricking your fingers. But now, by wearing a small remote device called a Continuous Glucose Monitor, or CGM, you can immediately reduce your pain. It's easy to use and helps you make more accurate diabetes treatment decisions. If you are testing your blood sugar four or more times daily, injecting insulin three or more times daily, or using an insulin pump, call the Diabetes Solution Center right now to learn about this groundbreaking new CGM technology. And if you have Medicare, you can get a new CGM at little to no out-of-pocket cost. Shipping is free, and we'll even bill your insurance company for you. If you are testing your blood sugar four or more times daily, injecting insulin three or more times daily, or using an insulin pump, call the Diabetes Solution Center right now to learn how you can get your own continuous glucose monitor or CGM at little to no out-of-pocket cost. Boo all you want. All I see are dollar signs. The overcharger can charge for expensive car repairs because your warranty expired and there's nothing you can do about it. And overcharging, your days are done. Woo! The Ninja Boys teamed up with CarShield, the Bill Lauren, mechanic of your choosing, Auto Avenger, and we're treating bullies like him to a buffet of, woo! CarShield cars go farther. Woo! Welcome back, everyone. A, a disturbing scene, though, just all that massive humanity down on the back and the injured ribs of Gentleman Jervis. It's a really tough spot having that much weight on you when you're completely collapsed to the mat. It's extremely hard to get off. Yeah, and just toying with Jervis during the break. Heard him say, is that all you got? Just just taunting his former friend. Yeah, no doubt about it. And, and, you know, But the physical pain, really a big part of it as well. When you've got compromised ribs, Blake, Take us through, I mean, every single breath, and Jervis might not catch a breath here with this bear hug. As you mentioned, having ribs, it's the entire attachment for your torso, so if you breathe, if you get slammed, anything that you do, you're gonna be feeling pain, particularly when you have a giant Robin Shaw wrapped oh. around, well, we have a little... Going to the eyes here, we've never seen that from the world's sweetest man. And I wonder, is that desperation, or is that anger coming out of Jervis? Because he was in a bad spot, was that... Was that doing what he needed to survive, or was that him losing it and doing what, what he emotionally brought yeah, out we of got, We're getting some, I agree, but we, I don't know, but we're getting some anger out of the scientist, the punk rock Poindexter as well. He's got the big man rocking and reeling. Oh, oh he caught him. Oh, it's just this, if he can lock that arm in, this is a rotational submission on the body here. Absolutely neutralize that size advantage, but not the strength advantage of Robin Shaw. And down goes Finch. Robin Shaw is just slightly too big of an oh pin attempt. And again, so tough to kick out when you got the big man on top of you, and you can see the look of disdain on the face of Robin Shaw. Playtime is over, but a great submission attempt. But as we've talked about throughout this matchup, a lot of it is desperation. What can you do? How many times can you go back to the drawing board against this guy? I mean, it's two on one. Friendship Farm versus Robin Shaw here, and he's still, you know, able to control the majority of this matchup outside of those desperate tactics of the Friendship Farm. You know, I would have a hard time calling this a two on one. This is more like one and a half against one. Fair point. And that's a big one right there, too. It's almost one and a half against one and a half. Okay. And, but, and again, you got an injured gentleman, Jervis, as well, who's going to be hard-pressed to even climb back up to the apron. And so it might be uh, one half on, on one and a half right now. But enough math. If he hits that sweet embrace, it's one, two, three. That's the only math you really have to be concerned with. And Darwin Finch, though, being very elusive. Dropkick takes him off his feet. Wow, Whoa. the big guy goes down. Could be a big-time turning point in the favor of Finch and Jervis if they can capitalize. Big time velocity there and force when you're talking physics and took the big man down. Jervis wants back in. You know, a lot of the times when we see a guy who's completely dominating the beginning of a com competition get put on his back and the momentum start to sway, sometimes we see that guy start to mentally break. Sometimes we see him get more angry. I'm interested to see what kind of Robin Shaw gets up after that kick off the top rope. And the longer this matchup goes, the big guy's got to get oxygen in that giant body. Back elbows. Back elbows now by Jervis. Oh, the big spear by Jervis. He rocked him. He took him down. If he could just capitalize and cover. 
Look at that aggression that we are getting out of Gentleman Jervis. We've never really seen this side of him. A little sweet revenge, you might say. Yeah, I guess so. Jervis, though, I mean, look, he's, he's having, you still see the effects. He's having to use those ropes to even move around there after that maybe adrenaline burst, but really, he's still trying to bring it to Shaw. He's got him hooked. Gentleman Jervis. Landed. Oh, that's the Dustland DDT there by, by uh, Gentleman Jervis. He's digging way down into the playbook. And he planted Shaw's forehead directly on the mat. You can see Shaw's rolling around on the ground. He's on, he's on Wobble Street right now. But so's Jervis. Jervis is still down. How about he planted Shaw with the DDT, and Shaw might beat him to his feet. Couldn't even get a cover there. Shaw is in trouble here, but now reaching for the referee. And, and gentlemen, Jervis has got to make a tag here. They have to capitalize. They have to take advantage while the big man is rocking and reeling and in jeopardy. Oh, oh, that one had some mustard behind it from Finch. Mass times acceleration, whole lot of force there by Finch. They're giving Robin Shaw some very valuable recovery time right now. Oh, Finch knocked firmly off the apron. Oh, now he's taking it again to Gentleman Jervis. I think the official Allison Lee is maintaining that Gentleman Jervis is still the legal uh, man in this matchup. And, and now look at this, a hug that was once out of love is now out of total disrespect and devastation, and Jervis goes completely limp. Jervis looks lifeless in there. And what, is, what is Robin Shaw doing? Oh God, we've seen him use this vice grip before. He just about squeezed the flesh out of Piranha Can Rana. Oh, he'll, he'll absolutely concave your cranium with this. Oh my goodness, both palms on, on the temples here, Blake. Wow, he, I, his eyes gotta be popping out under there. He looks like he's unconscious. He's in a bad spot. The official's trying to stop oh. this. Here is your winner, Sweet Robin Shaw. I've got to give, I've got to give, uh, gentlemen Jervis, so much credit for even getting in the uh, in the ring. Let's take a look at the action brought to you by Car Shield. Taking the big man off his feet with the big spear was gentleman Jervis, but in the end, Robin Shaw just too much, and that just that vice grip. So devastating. The vice grip absolutely put the lights out of Gentleman Jervis. And just the saddest story in wrestling continues. What has happened to the Friendship Farm and what is going through the mind of Robin Shaw? Man, Jervis is down. Jervis is really seriously injured. He got in here in bad shape. And thank God that uh, Darwin Finch was able to step in and at least give a hand because this could have been a really, really bad beatdown. Jervis might have broken ribs, but I think more importantly, he really, truly has a broken heart. All right, fans, we thank you for joining us as the Friendship Farm closed for business. It doesn't matter how many butterflies you weigh, it's still a heavy heart when you see something like this happen. We'll hope that Gentleman Jervis can rebound. When it comes to Robin Shaw, we know that he did, now accompanied by Jackson Calhoun. Yeah, what a turn of events. Going from Gentleman Jervis to Jackson Calhoun. Slippery slope for some slimy guys. Very enterprising, you might say. Well, we will be back with more great action for you next week on Championship Wrestling from Hollywood, when, as always, it is time to fight on.